Welcome back, welcome back to the next episode of our Pokemon Radical Red Nuzlocke. And I decided I'm going to do the rematches with the gym leaders, starting with Brock. Um, I put together a team that I think is going to work out pretty well. Uh, he leads with a Great Tusk, so I'm going to lead with my Drizzle Sogaleo. I'm going to change the sun, uh, the Sandstorm immediately. And I'm going to Psychic right off the bat. Uh, he has Headlong Rush, Close Combat, Knockoff. His booster energy, I'm almost 99% sure it goes into attack. Um, because his... Yeah, yeah, it'll go into attack. For sure. So, lead with that and click Psychic. Gets a kill. Uh, I don't know who he goes into after that. If he goes Tyranitar, I go directly into Honch, uh, Honcho, who also has Drizzle. And get rid of his sand. And immediately from there, I'm just going to start clicking Drain Punch, I think. No matter what he wants to send in. Um... My answer for Aerodactyl is Bibril. Bibril is back, who doesn't have a nickname. You know what? I mean, I'm gonna, I gotta give it the classic nickname. This is God. Bibril is too good. Too good. Um, he has fl uh, fur coat, plus defense nature. I put Curse and Sword Stance on him. Um, if I get Curse up and I'm tanking hits really well, I might just click Sword Stance and start Aqua Jetting his whole team. I, I really might do that. Um, or I might just keep clicking curse. I don't know. We'll see. I think that would be my answer for Aerodactyl. Backup answer for Aerodactyl is also ZZ. Uh, ZZ is here for the Sand Slash, potentially the Arcanine. He's going to be kind of a crucial member of the team. I need to put a ground move on him, though. I guess what I keep forgetting to do. You turn knockoff. I need to give you Bulldoze. I think that's the best move I can give you right now. Um, yeah, he doesn't want an Earthquake right now, which is really annoying. Um, Ice Fang could be good for the Aerodactyl. U-turn. Not really necessary. Um, this knockoff could be good on a switch. I really feel like it. I don't think it's necessary. I'll give it a knockoff. And I actually want to give you Roost as well. So I really think I'm just going to click Ice Fang or Bulldoze. And then after that, we're just going to tank hits. Um, Stonks is here for the Amistar. Completely walls it. And Crichton is here for the Hisuian Arcanine, I think. I think this is going to work out. Um, I did the prep. I think we're going to be good. I have not done any of the prep for Misty. So if we get through this battle and we go on a Misty, I'll probably do that prep on screen. Uh, depending how confident I am, I might be able to do it, do the prep and do the battle in the same episode. If I feel like it's going to be a lot, I might just do the prep off camera do the battle like another another day and i'll just you know splice it all together uh, we'll see how i'm feeling we'll see how i'm feeling so drizzle popping off we get the rain up very nice you boost their energy and attack right yes and i put the air balloon on just in case i need to switch this in later but i click psychic and i'm modest should kill i think i calc it right yes okay we're up, we're up one right now. We're up one. I'm still extremely nervous. I'm a, I think you need Michael Tyranitar. I don't really have much for Tyranitar. Goes immediately into Arcanine. Um, I'm going to go Crichton. Because I'm assuming Flare Blitz, even though I have the sun up and the rain up, those Flare Blitz in the rain, it's going to do nothing to me. Literally nothing. Um, my fear here, though. Uh, I'm gonna Dragon Dance. He should switch guaranteed. Yes. Who do you go into? Aerodactyl. Um, I'm Dragon Danced up once. How much Dragon Dances do I need to win this exchange? Let me see. I am plus defense nature. And I only have dragon claw to hit him with. Sorry. Pause. I'm going to have to do some math real quick. All right. Jolly nature. Aerodactyl at level 66. Mega hits 245 speed. Flygon at level 68. I am plus defense minus special attack nature. Um... I am at plus one speed right now. I am slower than him, so he is faster than me. 
Don't like that. Uh, Dragon Claw. It does 52 to 60, 52 to 62 right now. His dual wing beat does 44 to 53. <sighs> Man. Man, I'm gonna make sure the tough claws is being counted. It is. Um, I think I dragon claw because if he just attacks after leftovers, I should live another one. And two dragon claws will kill him. So I'm staying in. And if he dragon dances, because he doesn't see a clear kill, then I think I'm in the clear. He dragon dances immediately. So now he's plus one attack. Um, the most he can do is 80% to me. And this should two shot guaranteed. Yep. We live this. Aerodactyl being gone is such a huge relief. Such a huge relief. We can't be crit because of our battle armor, so I don't have to worry about that. Okay. Okay. All right. That's amazing. I haven't used Bibberol yet. Rain is gone. I'm assuming Tyranitar might come out. This would be a good time for Tyranitar to come out. Sand Slash comes out. Sand Slash. Are you just going to Earthquake? I'm going to go into ZZ. I could go into Bibberol here right now. Um, with my fur coat and start clicking Curse. Mm, no, it's going. It's going Glide Score. Glide Score is here for the Sand Slash. Absolutely destroys it. Uh, he honestly should switch out here. I'm going to Ice Fang. He stays in. Okay. You're just gonna Stone Edge. You realize you can't really do much to me. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. We will take that. Go for another one. No reason not to. I win this exchange all day and we get a crit. Doesn't matter. He missed that. It's a bad combination for you right there, buddy. Um. I also low key kind of want to go into Honcho here. No, because I need to go Honcho in on the Tyranitar to get rid of the sand. So I need him to go into Tyranitar. He might go into Amistar here as well. Once the Tyranitar comes in, the sand gets set up. So that's when I have to start, you know, rethinking that whole situation. Amistar comes out. Okay. This is going phenomenally. Did I put moves on you to kill the Amistar? I put Grass Knot, right? I did. Beautiful. Beautiful. Um, are you Shell Smashing immediately? Surf immediately. Okay. Um, problem here. This is a problem. Hold on a second. I'm going to protect. He stays in. Meteor Beam. Okay, that's fine. That is fine. He's not Shell Smashed. Wasted his power herb. I go for grass knot. Okay, he should be gone. I didn't realize he was power herb. I was thinking white herb, so I was thinking he was gonna shell smash to get his defenses back up. Didn't matter. Either way, I would have outsped and killed with that grass knot. Arcanine is back. Okay, he's focus sash, but he has no setup moves. So I'm gonna click protect to see what he goes for. I'm assuming flare blitz or wild charge. Wild charge. Okay, this is really good here. Um, because we go into Crichton on his wild charge. Perfect. I want to earthquake. I really do. I'm going to protect. I need a little bit more recovery. You see what he goes for. Goes for the head smash. I'm going to calc this. I'm sorry. This Arcanine is terrifying. Head smash. Um, what are you? You are Jolly with Rockhead. 
Okay, does 29 to 34. Okay. I'm going to Dragon Dance. Uh, because if he lets me just Dragon Dance up with this guy, I'm just going to finish the game. I'm just going to finish this battle clean. 146 to 68. Oh my god. Okay. 146 to 60. It's doing like 80 damage. Is that what the number is the same? Up to 82. Okay. All right. I'm going to Dragon Claw here. I didn't want an Earthquake in case he went into the Tyranitar. Misses. That's incredible. You have no idea how incredible that is. Um, I... I don't want to set up again for the Tyranitar. Or protect again. Tyranitar is the only the last threat because Tyranitar's Dragon Dance weakness policy. It's a very scary Pokemon. Uh Jolly Nature. Flygon plus one. Earthquake. Does not kill. So I need to be plus two. So I dragon dance again. That's game. That is game. You can miss another head smash too. Called it. Called it. I had to keep in mind that he does have extreme speed. So, plus two Earthquake, kills this, kills Tyranitar, and we win. Man, these battles terrify me. They really do. And last is Tyranitar, and plus two. Um, the sand only f fixes your special defense, right? Yes. Okay. You are gone, Tyranitar. Okay. That was not too bad. That was not too bad. Now I got to start prepping for this nightmare of a Misty battle. I'm trying to think. The zero to hero Palafin is a huge problem. Um, obviously, rain is going to be up immediately. Um, they don't have any rain setters. So if I get rid of the rain immediately, that absolutely kills their team uh, i do have a blastoise who has hail and i have sand stream on an electivire which would probably be really good for this um electivire is just you know pretty good in general for this battle so i think this might be a good bring mm. yeah it's probably gonna be good what else? Blissey could be good for Kingdra special attacking. Also the Gorbis special attacking. I think Blissey's going to be a very important member. Um, I mean, Empoleon's so good again. Empoleon's so freaking good. Klefki? Um, what could this be good for? could be good for the palafin the fluffy can make this very good for the palafin i mean palafin's so strong but outside of the rain it's not as bad i think this might be able to be a good bring he has water and fighting those only attacks he has so if i have a uh, latias resist both he does resist both but still such a strong attack kind of like Lottie in general though mm. let's see let's see Gyarados is a scary one the dragon dance possibility of Gyarados is terrifying waterfall crunch earthquake I could bring Kamoa over that Kamo, because he has competitive. So if he switches it and intimidates me, my special attack will raise. I don't know if I'll have anything that could really take advantage of that. I mean, I could probably just lead with this and like Clangor Soul, right? I'd have to get rid of the weather first. I think the rain will still make the two scary. Kingdra with the Scope Lens and Dragon Pulse will just absolutely in a hurricane. Yeah, that'll just ruin my day. That will ruin my day. If 
I go slow Blastoise and flip turnout because they're 100 percent going to flip turnout with the Palafin because they want to set the zero to hero. So if I flip turnout with Blastoise, who would they go into? They probably go into Ferrothorn. Because Ferrothorn walls the Blastoise or they would go into maybe Seismitoad because he has Power Whip. They do that and I go into you. Hmm. Let me let me just level you up all the way. I don't know when you learn that Clangor Soul. Whatever it is, Clanging Scales, Clangor Soul. Whichever one is that boosts all your stats. Dragon Dance even could be good. Clangor Soul. That's the one, right? Boosts his HP, but boosts the, boost the stats. Um, That makes it so good. Makes it so insanely good. I just need to make sure I get this in on something. Which, if it's Ferrothorn? I mean, the Leech Seed's a little scary. Oh, where can I get Substitute right now? I think that's Koga's. I think that's where Koga is. I think it's a move tutor down there. Do I want to do that sand route first then? Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Uh, this guy definitely wants to show up again. This could actually kind of wall the Gyarados, honestly. Um, I just don't really have anything to do damage to it with. Uh, could yawn. Skullbash. Yawn Skullbash isn't terrible. Honestly. Um. Yawn Curse. Move, relearn. I got, so I got superpower, but I don't think I want to rock that out. Um, drain punch on Monty. Slap from Dragon Tail. Drain punch on Ibril would have been crazy. Underwave. I like Thunderwave. Over Aqua Jet. Um. Not learning anything else, huh? Bulldoze. Power up punch would have been nice. Trailblaze, even. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe not Vibril. Maybe not Vibril. Skull Bash, honestly, though. Curse, Skull Bash, Yawn. Could go kind of crazy against the Gyarados. Get the extra defense. The Ferrothorn comes in and gets a Leech Seed off, though, so I need to figure out an answer for that. Um, Specifically for the Gyarados. Oh, for that. Could go Flapple. Good T Wave though too. Um, do we got EV sitting here? I think I bring Electivire. No Flygon. Blastoise is my potential lead, and I don't think I need Pissimian. Uh, what can I do with Blastoise? Aside, get rid of the weather. Um, Scald getting a burn on something is just nice. So I could just kind of throw a Scald off just because. Uh, or an Icy Wind to slow something out. Fake out. Pressure could be good over Rapid Spin. Um, let's go Icy Wind over Ice Beam. Let's see, let's see. Skull Bash on you is kind of nice, but... Hmm. Um, Bulldoze, maybe? Dragon Tail, just phase some stuff out. That could be good. If Gyarados comes... If I could switch it on Gyarados and just... Uh, Dragon Tail it. If it tries to set up too much. Oh, what did Mega Blastoise have again? Um. Oh, well, I got I got to teach him protect. I got to teach him protect so I can actually see what he got. I think it was like Ice Body.
Tinted lens. Oh. Oh, tinted lens. That's a whole different. Oh, that's crazy, actually. Oh. Oh, you're definitely showing up then. Oh, yeah. Mega Blastoise tinted lens. All right. Um, Regular Palafin, how fast are you? Palafin's base 100 speed. So you're definitely going to outspeed me. You're jolly base 100. At level 66. 172 speed. You're 118. You're slow as sin. So that's a guaranteed turn one flip turn. Guaranteed turn one flip turn. If he goes into Ferrothorn, I go into something with a fire move. I need something with a... I think you can learn Flamethrower. You can learn Flamethrower. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Get rid of Electro Ball. Oh, I see. I see the path. I see the path to victory. I see it. Thunderbolt over Discharge. Over Discharge, yes. Thunder, no thank you. Thunder in the rain could be kind of crazy. Don't need Electric Terrain. Plasma Fist. Mm. Plasma Fist is good. All right. Uh, what I'm going to need, though, is... Something for Seismitoad. You don't learn any, like, random grass moves, do you? I don't think Hidden Power Grass would be enough. Um, I told you guys I was going to be doing this. I told you I was going to be kind of showing you my thought processes behind this. Um, so you guys can kind of just see what I'm doing and figure out, you know, why I do what I do. Why I bring the Pokemon I bring. Inner Grass does not do enough to Seismitoad. Not even close, actually. Uh, even Modest. Yeah, doesn't do nearly enough. Um, so what is my, like, guaranteed answer for the Seismitoad? He's going to Earthquake 100% when I switch into it. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I need to be... Definitely prepared for the Seismitoad. Hmm. What's your ability? Liquid Voice. <laughs> That's not great. Um. Uh, Celebi. Contrary. Celebi could take an Ice Punch if I need it to. I could definitely bring this. What do I bring over it? Um, I think I'm going to use the Komoo. Ah. Do I want to try setting up with the Komoo? That's what I'm not sure of. Celebi physically defensive is really good for um the Palafin if it does get crazy. This is really good for the Kingdra. Um, this is actually really good for the Kingdra. What else was I bring this for? It's for the Gorbis. Gorbis and Kingdra, these two deal with. This deals with Palafin no matter what. This deals with Ferrothorn. I need you to deal with. Okay. All right. I think I think this is it. This can deal with Seismitoad. This can deal with Ferrothorn. This can deal with Gorbis and Kingdra. This can deal with Gorbis and Kingdra. This can deal with Gyarados. Okay. I think we're good. Future Sight. No. I think your moveset is actually perfect as it is. Healing Wish, no thank you. We are not letting you die. Double Edge, definitely not. Um, I just need to do Natures. You are plus special attack, minus speed. Which I kind of like for this, because I want you to be slow flip turning and stuff. Um, Hail will be set up immediately. Nothing else on our team sets up Rain. They don't have Rain Dance and nothing. Okay. So I just flip turn out. I mega and flip turn. Turn one. Always. I could fake out first, technically, but if they could hard switch, no, I gotta fake out. You, plus special attack, minus special defense. No, sir. I want you to have... I want you to be modest. 
you have flamethrower light screen thunder wave plasma fist that should work perfectly fine um yeah you're here mostly to flamethrower the plasma fist is stronger and you have oh if he goes gyarados and intimidates though i'm gonna switch out if he goes that anyway okay gorbis i go into you or you either way i have grass not for the gorbis let's see how much that does compared to flash cannon gorbis gorbis has the white herb right no it's focus sash actually okay uh you are dazzling so no priority moves got to keep that in mind timid from electivire plasma fist would be nice moon blast surf i believe and ice beam. okay moon blast and surf plus two special attack against electivire he doesn't one shot me plasma fist isn't a two hit move i don't know why i was thinking it was um Let's see, we'll deal with that. But let me just see how much Empoleon's Flash Cannon does. Flash Cannon does 50 to 60. Plus two Moonblast and Surf doesn't even do half to me. So this is a guaranteed answer for, uh, for Gorbis. Um, all right. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm stressing. This is a Palafin and Seismitoad answer. This is just to change the weather. Maybe get in and flip turn around on something if I need to. Arthorn. Gyarados. Okay. You have Yawn, Thunderwave, Skull Bash, Curse. It's a little scary, though. It is a little scary. I might need to put Super Power on this. Over. Skull Bash? I don't think I want to hit two turns off. I'm not sure if I want to go for two turns. Mega Gyarados, especially if he intimidates me first. Gyarados is terrifying. Uh, you are Jolly Nature, okay. Crunch to Fibril, level 68. Plus defense with the ability for Coat. Crunch does 44 to 52 neutral even with fur coat and plus defense so this might not be my answer that might not be my answer as much as i want it to be it might not be um oh boy um Do I have an extremely fast? <sighs> I guess this might have to be my answer, Komoo. Komoo might have to be my answer. Komoo, level 68. Crunch. Waterfall, both won't do a lot of damage. Uh, earthquake. Earthquake. 27 to 33. And I'll be faster than him if I'm a plus speed nature. So I got to bring you over Bibril. Damn it. I'm sorry. I really wanted to bring Bibril. I really did want to bring Bibril, but it's just not good enough. Let me get all these items off these guys. And item give. I'm going to give you leftovers. And we're going to change your nature to plus speed minus special defense. No? No, plus speed minus special attack. You know, I get the special attack raise. I'm not that worried about it. Drain punch. Um, I want to do, give you dragon dance over Klanger's soul. I don't want to lose any HP. If I get a Dragon Dance off, then we're going to be kind of chilling. Because Drain Punch is doing 50% immediately. Okay. Gyarados answer. Kingdra answer. Gorbis answer. 
Ferrothorn answer. Uh, Seismitoid answer. Well, Palafin answer and Seismitoid answer, and you're kind of both. We're good. We got it. We got the, we got the team. All right, that only took uh, about 15 minutes, 20 minutes. No big deal. But I'd rather take 15, 20 minutes to do that than... I don't have an item on you. I'm going to give you... I mean, I think leftovers are just fine on everybody. You got leftovers. You have leftovers, leftovers, leftovers. All right, we're good. We are good. Let's do this. This all can go many different ways depending on who he switches into right now. Depending on who he flip turns out to or hard switches out to. I uh, will change the whole narrative of how this goes. Flip turn. Perfect. I'm assuming Ferrothorn because I don't think I have anything to touch Ferrothorn. I have like water and dragon attacks and you resist both. Gyarados. That's perfect. That is perfect. I could not be happier about that. I might be able to get a sweep right now. With Monty. I might get a sweep right now with Monty. I'm going to Dragon Dance. If he lets me get two Dragon Dances off, I think I just sweep. No, because he still has a Focus Sash on Gorbis. So Gorbis comes in afterwards and mobilizes every single time. You Dragon Dance too. It's fine. Um, you at plus one attack, plus one speed. You're at 198. I am at 211. Drain Punch, it does not kill you, but you don't even do 50% to me. So I just Dragon Dance again. And if you attack, it's fine. I get all my HP back with a Drain Punch. You Earthquake, that's fine. We're good. We're good. Drain Punch here gets a kill. No matter who he sends in. All right, full HP. Plus two Kamoo is here. Gorbis should come out right now. Um... If it doesn't, I get another kill. The snow is up. Oh. Goes Gorbis. So this is good because it breaks the sash. Uh, Moonblast should 1 billion percent come out here. Shell smash. That's such a stupid play. Actually, I don't know if I would have been able to knock him out. Not going to lie. The snow stopped. I don't like that. I'm going to be honest. You, sm you shall smash again. Oof. Okay. Um, we might have just created an issue. 66 plus 4. Jolly nature. Um, right, you're jolly. Timid, whatever. I need to make sure I do timid. So you live on the sash. You have Surf, you have Moonblast, and you have Ice Beam. Um, Empoleon. Well, 68. Nothing you do kills me. <sighs> that had me nervous. Not gonna lie. Um, do I just, no, I just, I just flash cannon. Does this invite anything in that I don't want in? Um, no. You swap out. I almost grass knotted there. I'm not going to lie to you. Okay. Well, that was the dumbest play by AI. Plus, get two shell smashes off. Bring, come down to your stash and then just switch. Okay. We go Zuku. You either Leech Seed or Thunder Wave. Maybe you Power Whip. But we set up the sand, which doesn't affect anything in this game. 
Leech Seed, that's fine. I just Flamethrower here every single time. Do not care if you switch. I do not care. I did not calc how much damage this does, I'm not gonna lie to you. But don't care. Tasman Toad comes out. Go for the Flamethrower. Okay. And now you should go for an Earthquake or a Wave Crash. Those are the only two things you should go for. Uh, we go into Oso. If you click Ice Punch on this, don't even care. I'll still live it. Wave Crash. Easy. Oh my god, you crit me. Well, that's nice. That's really cool. Okay. Um, I am going to recover, actually. Yep, because you're going to go back into Ferrothorn. And now I go into Zuku because you're going to Thunder Wave. I'm going to Flamethrower again. You go Seismitoad. I'm going Oso. I'm Giga Draining. I will do this all day. I will do this. I'm winning this exchange. Your Seismitoad is almost dead, buddy. Now you let now you let it go down. Okay. Okay. And now at this point, um, I think Gorbis sweeps. Uh, this comes out. Water or fighting move. Uh, I go Oso. Wave crash. Crit, please do not happen. Beat it up. And now we Giga Drain and get a bunch of recovery. We live this all day. 132 down to 54. Does about 80. Giga Drain. Good recovery. Oh my god, so much. So much recovery. And I think here I click Recover. You flip turn out. That's amazing. That is amazing. That was a great recover right there. He's probably going to go Kingdra. Yep. And for Kingdra, I don't even know what my moveset is on. Oh. I kind of remembered. I didn't check your moveset. Toxic. That works. We go into you. You Hurricane, you miss. I click Toxic. You crit me. That's GG. I got a charge beams. My special attack raises. Protect on the Seismitoad. Okay. Should have went to that a long time ago, buddy. Should have went to that a long time ago. Oso comes in. You Earthquake. I can Leech Seed here, honestly. Oh, you stood it. Oh, cool. Of course you did. Alphan comes out. Um, I recover. You flip turn again. This is it. That's GG. Okay. Um, this is just for theatrics right here. This is just for theatrics. Why you didn't go Palafin first is beyond me. That's game over. All right. Got through Misty. Okay, the only one we have left now is the rematch with Lieutenant Surge. And then we have to go down the routes. Then we go to Koga and beyond. I haven't made it through these battles, especially Deathless. Um, in a very long time. I get a Finizen here, which isn't a Finizen, which I just realized. I get a free Pokemon, which is a Sentry. We're going to evolve it. I've been doing a lot of the um, random uh, evolutions, and it's made me get a special uh, appreciation for Pokemon like Farrit kind of coming through and saving me please okay terrible all right we'll wrap it up with that and in the next one we're gonna do lieutenant surge which i don't think that battle is gonna be too too crazy i think that's one of the easier ones uh his team's a little similar he's the same belly bolt he has the same palm out the same mega manetric um he has an iron hands so a rotomosh and iron treads you have to deal with outside of that but um i don't know if i have any terrain to switch it's okay. I could lead in defog immediately. Uh, but yeah, we'll see you guys 
in the next one, next one leave some nicknames i sh might be able to get encounters in the next one but as always leave nicknames you never know what episode i'm going to be going back to i kind of pre-record these like really far ahead of time because it only comes out twice a week so leave nicknames let me know how you're enjoying the episodes i'll see you in the next one peace out